What is up guys, Capping Glitch, and today I'm going to show you how to edit the text and map in Double Helix uh, Zero Mission and Fusion Editor. And first what you want to do is open a ROM, and of course this ROM I already, that I'm about to open is already edited. So let's let that load. As you can see this is the map window, I mean that's the tile set window. This is the map window. This is the main window where everything happens at. Now to edit, to edit the map, you're gonna have to have edit level layer checked. And you simply just click a tile and place it in the map area. It's really simple. Very, very simple. But if you go, if you notice after you say, click save once you're satisfied, but if you notice, when you play the game, you'll just start going through everything you made. That's where the clip layer data comes in. What you do is you press edit clip data, view clip data would be nice too. You go down here, and the most obvious ones are block and no block. No block, you go straight through. Block is literally a block. These are all block. And so you you can pretty much guess all of them does what a slant is, an enemy only block, that means only an enemy can stand on that block. Water, wet ground, simple stuff like that. And then once again you'd click save after that. Also, edit, edit sprites, it means just to move the sprites around. As you can see, me just clicking and dragging on it moves the sprite. Really simple. For some reason, if you go to a different sprite set, you cannot move the sprites. I don't know if this is the version that I have, but it only works on sprite set 1. So, And to edit text, you simply go to General Tools, Text Editor. And I do warn you, the Text Editor in Metroid Fusion doesn't seem to work at all. And, um... I don't know why, then it, again, it could just be my, my, um, the version I have, but whatever. See, as you can say, see right here, it's supposed to say, okay, to erase this for file data, but I put new. What you do is you just type what you want, blah, blah, blah. You click save, and then it add that to the game. Of course, I don't want it like that. And you can do a lot of things, such as new line, which, as you can see right there, goes down and in, ends it. I'm going to show you some more basic commands for it, such as colors. You're going to figure out the colors yourself, but as you can see, color 5 and color 5 makes it yellow. While color 6 makes it, um, yeah, red. Color 0 is white the default color and that's really pretty much all I have to show you guys and I'll show I guess I'd show more advanced stuff later but this is the basics you got here so thanks for watching if this helped let me know